Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Ayagna channel. This is Suma Maheshwar. In my last videos, I have explained about uh, how to install HPatch tool and how to simulate it. And I received good response from you. Thank you very much. And I have seen some comments regarding how to use FinFET and CMOS models and how to calculate some parameters like uh, power and delay. So here in this video, you are going to see how to measure those parameters and also how to add FinFET and CMOS model files. I am here to help my subscribers. So if you want more videos related to this or any technical things, subscribe to my channel, right? So before going to start uh, our simulate HPI tool, first we need to generate the license file that is reread license file. So by opening the LM tools, you can check the reread license file. Here I am getting some error means uh, when so when I click once uh, it unable to generate a license file. So uh, I use again. So you try to uh, reread the license file at least one or two times. Okay. Until you get finished rereading. So open a new uh, notepad. So today we are discussing about the CMOS inverter. So what actually CMOS inverter is. CMOS inverter consists of PMOS and NMOS. So the PMOS which is connected to VDD and uh, which is NMOS is connected to that is a uh, ground and PMOS is pull up and NMOS is pull down. So okay. So what is the syntax uh, to write uh, for a MOSFET or CMOS inverter? So here you have MOSFET inverter that is a MOSFET drain node, gate node, source node and substrate node. So M indicates the MOSFET and drain gate source and substrate are the syntax that are the nodes okay. okay so that is a m1 so that is a type of mosfet next is a drain end so drain end is contained nothing but it is connected to v out right so v out so i may for uh, symbolically i am representing as mp1 so uh, to indicate it is pmos that is uh, connected to v out drain is connected to next gate is connected to v in and what about the source it is VDD and substrate also VDD similarly MN1 which is drain is connected to V out and uh, gate is V in and source is ground and substrate also ground right okay fine so what type of it is it is the first one is a PMOS and second one is a NMOS okay so I need to choose the width and the length so what is the width and uh, what is the length? How to choose those width and length? So for that we have to go to the model files. So go to PTM model files. So in that click on latest model cards. So here you have the latest uh, model files for CMOS and uh, as well as uh, some FinFET. So so FinFET that, so that is HP and LSTP that is a uh, high performance and uh, low standby power. So I am using 16 nanometer low standby power model so six, I'm taking 16 nanometer now so copy that uh, entire model file and uh, paste in uh, some new notepad so save it as uh, some CMOS model files okay 16 nanometer model files that is a CMOS model file I'm saving it as a 16 and CMOS 16 nanometer model files okay all types right okay so we have both NMOS and as well as the PMOS. Okay. As we have chosen 16 nanometer model files. So what is the length? That is a length equal to 16. So for width of PMOS is 32 nanometer. And for NMOS I am choosing it is 16 nanometer. Width of the PMOS twice that of a NMOS. So we need to include that uh, library. So I am including that uh, path of the technology model file. So we need to have the power supply. So for power supply, I'm taking as one volt. So VDD that uh, source name and uh, VDD voltage and ground. I'm giving a DC of one volt. In order to view the net list, uh, so we have the command that is a dot option list node post. Okay, and uh, we have to give the input right. So the source is V1 and uh, 
and Veen is a node. Okay. And uh, what is the syntax? If we have different types of uh, inputs, that is uh, sinusoidal input, square wave input, piecewise uh, linear source. So I'm using uh, some pulse. Okay. So what is the syntax of pulse? So I'm writing here the syntax. So V minimum voltage and uh, maximum and uh, what is the delay and uh, rise time and fall time and uh, pulse width and also the total time period. Okay, fine. Now we are uh, going to observe the transient analysis over, over the period of 50 nanoseconds with step of 20 picoseconds. Print the output voltages that is V out and also V in and uh, end right. Now save the program. So save the program with the dot sp extension. Since we are using a spice code. So simulate it, you can see, so scroll down, there are no errors, right? I'm using 2014 version, you can also use 2019 also. So both can give the same, but little variation in the parameters. So I already told earlier how to add how to how to view the waveforms so that is uh, you can see in my second video how to in simulate h spice part 2 there i have explained completely about uh, how to view the waveforms so double click on that okay here you can see how input is inverting right that what we got so when input is high output is low and when input is low output is high now we are going to see some DC analysis so how to do the DC analysis so for DC analysis we need a DC input so I'm keeping some star mark for pulse and I'm taking some DC input some DC of 1 volt And uh, instead of transient analysis, I need to measure DC analysis, right? So the DC source, the syntax for DC analysis is DC, the source, what we are giving input is V1 as a source. One start voltage is zero voltage, stop voltage is one voltage, and step of uh, 0 0.1 voltage. So save the file. And now you can print the output. You can see. right so you can see the output so when input is varying from zero to high voltage the output is varying from high to low so we we can we see that tc point intersection point there that operating point so you can go to that uh, tools and measurement and you can measure that x axis and y axis so that operating point where actually it is changing its uh, transition so that's about DC analysis right so okay if you want to measure some parameters so how to measure that parameters so I want to measure some delay some power okay now let us see how to measure those parameters so I'm going to measure the delay parameter now so so how output is delayed with respect to input so trig voltage that is the input voltage I'm taking at 0.5 volts that is 50 percent of uh, input voltage so here rise equal to 1 so when the input is rising to 1 at 0.5 voltage I need to 
take that reference point and when I have to calculate the output that is my output is target that is a V out at whenever the output reaches above 0.5 volts so what actually that is a faller rise so you can see here here I am taking the input when input is fall okay when input is falling from 0.5 volts and I need to measure the output when input is low we will get the output as high so when input is falling the output will be rising right so that is I am taking fall for input and rise for output so simulate it you can see job concluded and you will generate some files that is dot empty not open that you can see that delay here that is a uh, 1.7 10 power minus 11 that is 17 picoseconds what you got so if I want to measure the other parameters like uh, power so so measure the trans average power I'm going to measure average power so the syntax for is the uh, uh, average AVG and power so from where to where from 1 nanoseconds to some 8 nanoseconds okay I want to measure the power so save it and you can run and directly open that uh, you can see the power yeah okay similarly if I want to measure some leakage power okay so what is leakage power that is static power that is a uh, supply into current supply current into VDD right so VDD into the current so I need to measure the current from 1 nanoseconds to 8 nanoseconds that is supply current and after then I need to measure the, that static power the static power is equal to the parameter so minus supply current into supply current into the voltage right that is supply the supply is a parameter that is how to indicate a dot parameter supply is equal to 1 volt so current into voltage will give the power okay so here you can measure the static power here power may vary based on the parameters what you have chosen so later you can analyze that so this is how to measure the delay of power and also the leakage power okay by using 16 nanometer libraries now I am going to explain how to use FinFET models so I am taking a low standby power models so copy that okay and similarly copy the PMOS also both NMOS and PMOS keep in a one notepad file and save so I am saving it as some FinFET libraries okay So already I have saved it um, so that's why I am not saving again and uh, model files so these are the PTM 60 nanometer 7 nanometer and also HP high performance total we have different files here so for each uh, nanometer technology so save in the, uh, some model files model dot library next uh, param parameters what are the parameters you are going to choose for fin fit so fin height uh, what is fin height what is fin width and what is the length of the fin length of the channel so that can be varied here that can be chosen here for each technology so I'm using some 7 nanometer technology here so I'm, I want to take uh, any of the 7 nanom any of the technology so if I'm taking 7 nanometer technology so directly I am keeping that uh, my program file I am adding as a finfet library and uh, so instead of uh, calling all the model files I am taking uh, one model file so that is uh, I am using here 7 nanometer right okay so similarly you can add uh, finfet model files okay I'm saving as some param dot file in param dot ink file. Oh, 
okay so we have added finfet models and libraries and also the if you want to use as a library file dot lib you need to set the path where actually the param files are saved okay you can include that path then you can call that in your program okay here we have a include file that is a 20 nanometer now i'm doing uh, i'm copying 7 nanometer right 7 nanometer model files so actually we have saved both pmos and nmos in one file only so no need of this so this is i mean uh, how to save is up to you you can choose separately or you can add the both the things at one node i mean you can add both the files in one point okay so the syntax for this uh, you can see that i'm deleting unnecessary that for the syntax for the finfet model is what that is a mnfet and uh, mpfet drain gate source and uh, for nmos it is a nfet and pmos it is a pfet okay so i need we need to change the length length equal to lg i am rewriting, I'm rewriting as lg and number of fins we are choosing here is I'm choosing here as a some number of fins equal to 3 you can vary the number of fins later so based on the number of fins uh, you will get the output so optimizing output how to choose the optimizing parameters that you can design your own okay right so you can see the parameters how they are varying with the uh, finfet and as well as the cmos so you can change the length also so i am changing the length to some 18 nanometer i can you can see the results so there is a changing in output right and you can do uh, you can and you can change the fin height some fin width you can change that parameter as you wish but not ex exceeding the maximum levels okay you can see here output so output is inverting with respect to input okay then you can change the number of fins i'm changing the number of fins to one so i simulate i can see the output parameters how they are varying see so based on the output parameters you will get the different outputs this is how you can analyze the your finfet model files and uh, and uh, you can do lot of uh, with your model files so by varying the model by varying the some parameters so which optimizing parameter you are giving the best results uh, that uh, you can choose for your work okay this is a how to measure some parameters and how to use the CMOS and FinFET model files. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Thank you. You are Uma Maheshwar.